Marathons have been run in the Valley for decades, but this one, this one marks the first edition of the Las Vegas Marathon, and runners and spectators alike tell me this race was a jackpot. This is really co a cool new tradition that's being established. Great for the city, great for the running community. The energy was high from the start of the Las Vegas Marathon early Sunday morning, all the way to the finish line at Fremont Street and Las Vegas Boulevard. I think it's awesome where everybody can get together, come in as a family, and just cheer for everybody. I think it's really cool. Gracia Sanchez was out with her family supporting her mom. Honestly, I've looked up to her my whole life, so seeing her do this makes me think I can do anything. Inspiration, the theme of the day, a whole lot of it coming from Adonica Boy. Great job. And I know for people who traveled in, they don't have anybody here. So, you know, I had to give them a little little cheering on to keep them moving. And of course, from the runners themselves. This was my first marathon. The first half was pretty easy and I started very enthusiastic. But the second half, every bone in my body was telling me to stop. But I was like, I got to make it to the end. 26 miles is far, man, you know? So it's a, it's a heck of an accomplishment for, for anybody. It seems they could make me well up now. It's especially an accomplishment for Las Vegas local Derek Stefiriak, who shared his story with Channel 13 last week. He's running marathons after being diagnosed with multiple sclerosis in 2011. After Sunday's marathon, he told me all those feelings came racing back when he was on the course. Through running, diet, and exercise, I have actually reversed the effects of MS, which is incredible. I used to limp after running only a mile, drag my foot behind me, and now I just ran 26.2 miles and qualified for the Boston Marathon. If you missed out on the fun this go around, we have the Las Vegas Marathon's website linked on our website, KTNV.com, so you can stay in the know for next year's race. Reporting from Fremont Street, I'm Guy Tonnenbaum.